I'm Larry Anglisano reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. And the high quality audio you're hearing from the cabin of this two-place Piper Cherokee doesn't come from an expensive high-end audio control system, but instead from a two-place portable intercom that sells for about $300. It's a new DRE-205 stereo portable. Over the years here at the magazine, we've been relatively unimpressed with some of the portable intercoms we've tested, but this new 205 sets a higher standard. The DRE-205E is a stereo two-place intercom, which makes it a logical choice for LSA, ultralight, or any other small two-place cabin. The intercom is housed in a durable anodized aluminum chassis that's not too bulky, although we wish it had a lower profile, which might make it easier to stash in a map pocket. The 205 has a durable and straightforward control set. There's a volume knob that serves double duty as a pilot isolation switch and a very accurate squelch adjustment. Other portables we've tested tend to have poor squelch control with circuitry that tends to clip the audio, but not the 205. It worked nearly perfect in the noisy cabins we tested in. The 205 runs on two 9-volt batteries, or it can be plugged into the electrical bus for power, which we prefer. The unit has some smart features, like a low battery enunciator to mine the health of those 9-volt batteries, and a stuck bike indicator to warn you of a stuck push-to-talk switch. DRE claims that weakened batteries won't affect the unit's performance, which isn't the case with other portables we've used. In fact, we found battery endurance to be reasonably good, even when we purposely started using half-used Duracells. When it comes to remote system input, the intercom doesn't disappoint. For starters, there's a music input that's for sending in music from your iPod or MP3 player, a recorder output, a cell phone input, and in audio panel tradition, there are these unswitched inputs. That's for sending in alerters from landing gear systems, traffic systems, or any other device that has an audio output to get your attention. If we had a nit to pick with the DRE-205, it might be with the unit's tendency to overmodulate the microphone audio, creating a raspiness, although different microphones might yield different results. In our testing, we used our Bose Series 10 headphones, which use a Gentex dynamic microphone. What impressed us the most about the 205 was the music quality. We plugged in our Sony MP3 player using the supplied stereo patch cable and enjoyed deep, clear tunes for the fly. In fact, the music quality was better than many of the panel-mounted models we've tested. There was even a music mute control where you can sing along or have the tunes mute with an open squelch. Now, DRE offers a three-year warranty and a 30-day money-back guarantee on the 205. Now, that's an impressive warranty for a unit that sells for about $300. For more on the DRE 205, you can read the November 2011 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb, I'm Larry Anglisano. Thanks for watching.